Hey guys, Master Kids back with some Borderlands, the pre-sequel information, of course, uh, like everybody else has been doing. So uh, I didn't want to do anything until it was officially announced, but it has been officially announced now. Uh, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, is the next Borderlands game being developed or co-developed by Gearbox Software and 2K Australia. So Borderlands, the pre-sequel, is a sequel to Borderlands 1 and a prequel to Borderlands 2, whereas you play as a set of four characters that are actually on Handsome Jack's side this time. So it's a complete polar opposite to Borderlands 2 in the way that you are fighting against Handsome Jack, but in this one, you're fighting with Handsome Jack, which is very, very interesting. So the whole story behind this is the Hyperion moon base. Everybody wanted to go there, so it looks like we're finally getting uh, close to it, on it, around it, in it. <laughs> behind it, on top of it, everywhere we're going to be in it. Uh, so basically, yeah, that's the story. So if, uh, Handsome Jack's rise to power is the whole story of the Borderlands pre-sequel. Uh, so this footage is from the official trailer. Uh, they snagged off YouTube, and you can see there it's coming to PC, uh, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3. It, it's very, very interesting. It's looking like... I mean, it's Borderlands, but they've really, really gone outside the box with this one. Uh, you'll see their new element, ice element. Everybody, since the inception of the first Borderlands, wanted an ice element. Um, it was just one of the most requested things. There's fire, acid, there's electricity. People are like, why isn't there ice? So finally, we have an ice element. It looks like you can freeze them, and then you can smash them. Uh, there's a couple of other ways to smash them as well, which we'll see later on in the video here. You can see there on this screen, we'll talk about what we can see just now. On the bottom left there, you can see the action skill. Then you can see the shield bar, you can see the health bar, and then underneath that you see a new bar, which is your oxygen bar. In this game, you need to manage your oxygen levels, so I don't think it's going to be so bad as that you're going to be constantly suffocating and dying, but I think if your oxygen runs out, no idea what's going to happen if it gets to zero. Maybe it'll slowly start to eat away at your health, or maybe it'll mean you move slower. No idea what the negative side of running out of oxygen is going to be at the moment. But you see there, it is a thing. And there are a couple of things you can use it for, not just breathing. See there, very cool effect. Oh, that's another one, man. Look at this. So there's laser weapons now. So another new weapon is going to be the laser weapon. So I don't know whether they're going to be laser weapons, plasma weapons, whatever they're going to be called. But you can see there, it's absolutely looks fantastic, but it's doing barely any damage whatsoever. So probably another good one to use to maybe drop shields. Again, all of this information is uh, based on the pre-alpha footage. So the game uh, is is basically a long way away. So I don't think you're going to see it until the end of 2014. They're, Randy said late 2014, so we'll have to wait and see. But laser weapons, man, they're coming. Lasers. <laughs> It's cool that it's being developed by 2K Australia as well. I'd love to see if I could get in contact with their PR and see if I could go down there for a day and get some hands-on with the game and uh, talk to some of the dudes and see see how far they're into their borderlands. But it looks like they've, they've got it right, man. They're doing some crazy concepts, so it's some weird stuff. This anti-gravity is going to be weird. So you see there, that's a normal jump. So just jump backwards like that. That's Gladiatrix uh, class mod, and I think that's Athena, that's the character. And you see there she's got this shield on her arm, and from what I've seen, you can spin it to maybe deflect bullets or block bullets, and you can also throw it out there to do a bit of damage. So, cool stuff, man. It's, it's just so different. It's so foreign to see this. Of course, there you see the ice element again. You smash them, and they float away into the, the low atmosphere. So Nisha the Lawbringer is the first character. Maybe she's going to be like the Gunzerka style one. You see there, she's actually got dual weapons. So maybe she's going to be like the Gunzerka. No idea. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Athena the Gladiator. So that's the one we just saw there where she throws her shield out. Uh, very, very cool. I think she's probably the one I'm going to play as when I get the game. Definitely going to play it. Yes, I'll buy it. Getting it on PC and I will make videos of it, but I think I'll probably play as Athena. And of course, you've got Wilhelm there, the Enforcer. So Wilhelm, of course, from Borderlands 2 was a big mechanized sort of boss that was Jack's sort of right-hand man that he used to actually go and kill everybody. So, But this was before he became the robot. It looks like this was maybe when he was more just an enforcer or maybe a, like a, 
a right-hand man for Jack. So we'll have to see how this all works out. And, of course, the big one that everybody wanted, bang. You can play as Claptrap. So you can play as Claptrap, the Frag Trap. The biggest thing I want to see with him, because he's so short, I don't know whether it's going to change your your height of your vision, do you know what I mean? Because he's so short, you would be looking up at just normal sized enemies. So I don't know whether they're gonna compensate and just change the view to a default height. Because if the view would be as low as he is, man, you would be looking up at a normal human being. You'd be looking at their kneecaps. So interesting to see what Claptrap's gonna be like to play as, but I think everybody wants to play as him. So there you see there, the shield was actually spinning there and then she threw it out. So it looks like it does have two uses. Laser weapon, of course. Lasers, man. Who doesn't like lasers? And who doesn't like Randy Pitchford's shirts? He has some amazing shirts, man. I'll have to hit him up. <laughs> so we've got some pretty expansive environments there. Looking nice with some nice lighting. It's hard to glean a lot because it's a YouTube video. So here's one of the big ones. You see there the jump and how long you stay in the air for with a standard jump. Corpses flying off into the air. I'm sure they're going to go mad with the Phys X on the PC version. And right here, you see some pretty cool stuff. The, let's see if I can get it. You see the little jet coming out the back there. There's actually a jet pack on your back that you can control with your oxygen. So providing your oxygen levels are up high enough, you can actually use it to go a bit further. You can use it to double jump. And you can also use it to do like a, a ground pound, Randy called it, where you jump up in the air, hover, or just jump up in the air, and then hit crouch and you'll come shooting to the ground with a tremendous thud. And you can either do uh, shock damage to an enemy, physical damage, and you can also use it to smash the ice element, as you see there, which looks really, really amazing. So interesting. It's, it's just so foreign, like I said earlier. It's so foreign to what Borderlands has been and what Borderlands is, but we're just going to have to wait and see what it turns out like, man. All right, there we go. So I paused it a bit early. I thought that was the end, but that's the end of the of the the preview that they uploaded to the official Gearbox um, or the official Borderlands YouTube channel. So Borderlands a pre sequel. It's coming. When's it coming? It's coming late 2014. That's the only information we have. So a quick recap on what was in that video. Borderlands a pre sequel is a sequel to Borderlands One and a prequel to Borderlands Two. You play as Nisha the Lawbringer, Athena the Gladiator, Wilhelm the Enforcer, or Claptrap the Frag Trap, and you are all on Handsome Jack's side. So you are all either friends or employees of Handsome Jack, and it's all about his rise to power. So we're gonna see him probably evolve as a character, maybe even see the accident that scarred his face that you see in Borderlands 2, so that could be some deep deepness so we'll see how that goes um of course one of the huge things is uh, oxygen levels need to be managed because it's a no atmosphere no gravity environment it looks like they are scattered around the map so you can actually get them from different locations maybe there's going to be like refill stations like ammun ammunition or mu what are they called the the, the 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 ammo vendor sort of stations uh so we'll have to see whether they are uh new ice element new laser weapons uh you've got uh the ability of course to double jump and hover and stomp using your jetpack uh if you want to expend your oxygen levels just so much i mean there's only so much i can get from such a short trailer i don't want to go i think there's other footage out there but they're they're owned by other companies like ign game trailers things like that so i don't want to touch anything that they're doing right now so i use the official stuff though but uh, until I have more information, I won't really get into videos. I usually don't like to do videos like these. Uh, I like to get information hands-on. And like I said, because it is being partly developed in Australia, I will try and see if I can talk to someone that will let me come down for a day to maybe the offices. And I'll have, I'm happy to sign some NDAs as long as I can play it and, and get some hands-on time with it. I think that'd be great. But yeah, definitely going to play it. Definitely going to do videos on it. Looking forward to it. It looks like a massive difference to Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2. I mean, it's it should just be called Borderlands in Space, dog. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Plenty more to come. When more information is available, I'll, um, I'll throw up some videos. We'll see you later.